Hi, Sukhdev. Um, I couldn't, you know, talk to you yesterday, last night, but um, I know you are sleeping at the moment, so therefore, um, I've decided to just make this video. So, <clears throat> um, I will explain to you uh, things that they need to do changes, like uh, some rules and stuff still uh, kind of not working. Um, I'll <clears throat> I'll explain to you. So this is um, I have uh, logged in as a user. Um, um, the user is you can have a look at it it's um, Janet at boxlon.com so that's the user um, so when you go there um, assume that let's say remember <coughs> when I said when you select uh, in stocks uh, the purchase price has to be zero so you need to keep that so this had this section has to be a zero because if if the battery is from our stock it cannot purchase from a shop so um, therefore try to <clears throat> make this uh, a rule converted into a zero um, I think you, you remember the code and stuff we discussed that so please fix that um, so when you click on Sumit or any other um, a shop that's fine like you know you can add the um, the price but then when you select on in stock okay it works uh, it works but then right see so when you select on in stocks it, it turned that red thing and then but you can edit see this so it's wrong so if you put a price purchase price uh, the whole formula is gonna get <coughs> ruined because in if you look at a practical world um, if you, <clears throat> if this battery <clears throat> in our stock, which means it's it, it's within our stock, we already purchased, so we can't purchase again. So it, you know this has to be zero. <clears throat> then the other thing, um, I I said to you uh, when you select uh, a customer, so when you select customer, a delivery cost has to be zero because customer picked up you cannot we, we, we shouldn't be able to edit like it should we shouldn't be able to edit that but again the rule doesn't work here so please uh, have a look at that and uh, the other thing is speed X when you select speed X again <clears throat> return into 18 but then I can edit but it should be fixed it should be fixed 18 so just play I think the rule doesn't work so if you look at the entire section the rule doesn't work so please Please just check that one and uh, the other thing I want to sh show you in this one is it's just a little uh, CSS thing uh, can't see which one which one is which one is what so maybe you can ch just change the color when the when you select accounting that have the colors coming up like that way um, if you're selecting a cash or any other form then it's fine maybe maybe you can keep the uh, the text font color maybe light gray or something so it will be uh, visible um yeah so that's that um please have a look at the um the the rules again rule seems to be not working uh so that's uh, that's one of the big thing um the other thing i want to um inform to you about do you see this um <clears throat> if you look at in a this is my screen okay so if you look at the screen um it, it's actually taken a lot of space for for this one block so if you look at this this section so this entire section here uh, this block is actually taken a lot of time uh, sorry a lot of space and um, uh, you know I can see what it is like um, can you is it possible for you to make it smaller like these are like big like these numbers and uh, columns <clears throat> like I uh, showed you on the other presentation, probably uh, template barcode sticker. I think is yeah. I, I have given you a um. I have actually sent you um. Right, maybe it's not here. I have sent you a PowerPoint um explaining the height and you know reduce the width and stuff. If you can reduce, like <clears throat> you can change the font color here, sorry, font size here to make it smaller, and and these ones, if you can keep this this font size as this size, that would be great. 
and also in that case you can reduce the size also because mr david and then you have a huge gap here so we can reduce this this column to till here somewhere like here uh, so we can have a you know we can uh, squeeze this uh, the massive lengthy one um, I'm happy this size um, if you can make it this size even after when you click on add if it's appear this size on top here that would be great I don't know maybe this is uh, 11 or maybe, maybe this is 9 font size just check that one if you can make it and also especially here uh, total sale and everything see this height if you can remove uh, reduce this height and uh, this font also a little bit like these fonts are bigger too um, try to keep it uh, small so <clears throat> so you know if you look at this is the block current block size if the block comes here like from from here to here and and the height from home from here to like here or at least here from here to here that would be great if you can squeeze this uh, so we can pick we can put uh, more information there um, the other other thing I want to um, mention to you um, um, you know you said that it, this block will be appear daily but um, 9th of July and then 7th of July and then 2nd of July so um, I'm not sure why the other days aren't appearing here uh, if I, I don't know it's because of maybe we need to uh, you know it's not a big deal but um, I'm not sure I'm just asking you that um, and furthermore so this will be additional um, maybe 10 or 20, uh, 15 dollars or 20 dollars it's an additional thing it's a small thing that I want you to um, tell me if you can make it or not so what that means so see this order number right um, so this order number section shouldn't be I think you already made that but I just want to check let me just check if you keep order number yeah okay so so you you are keeping that okay that's fine then so you, I, I thought you haven't done that but it's fine um, so so keep the order number uh, you know full uh, which is one and okay then if you can make <clears throat> this way for example so if you if you have this order number already in one section if you put already the same number let me just let's have a look at what's going to happen let's see now purchase price I can change also that's actually wrong yeah okay so what I want you to do um, so this will be additional um, see this is repeated twice here order number repeated twice if you can mark them in a color showing like either text or this uh, this uh, entire cell showing that this order number repeated uh, user can edit you can't user can uh, have his same order number twice in in, in, in entire system that's fine however if you can color that um, it's like a little you know verification if this order number exists on the system uh, it turn it turn into a different color like maybe red color or so so with <clears throat> at a glance when you're looking at it so if you if the user repeated the same order number again so it will be visible on, on a list if you look at it um, yeah so so that's it um, so far um, this is pretty much it as in terms of um, the 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 things especially the rules doesn't work so please fix that and I'm available today so we can uh, we can talk and we can finalize this and we can finish it off um, yeah and and I've sent you the logo you can if you can put it that would be good too yeah thank you